um, this week I did um, um, research about um, an animal, and my animal is a lingcod. Lingcods um, are very interesting animals because they are they're very big and long and skinny. They can even be fat, big, and large. They live in cracks where the rocks are, and their habitat are rocky areas. The rocky areas are very hard hard to um, catch them because because um you might get um, your bait might get stuck under a rock. And um, lingcods are very interesting because they can camouflage like octopus. They are very interesting and um, and they are big. They have very sharp teeth and and um, can eat a lot of stuff like like um link like anything that can go in their mouth but except trash and um and seaweed. Their favorite food is in small octopus because they just love those little squirmy um, meat. And um and they can swallow it because there's no bones. They breathe very differently um, compared to other fish because the male goes to a shallow place and stays there until before. And uh, after a month, the female comes and picks the male. Then when the female lays her eggs, the female goes away and the, and the male guards the eggs until it hatches. Then when it hatches, the male goes away. And then the babies start coming out. And then they must be very careful because um, they're only five or to four inches long and there, there are so many predators that can eat them. So, so they, they are, um, they're, um, they're very small so they can go through little cracks in their rocks and hide there so nobody can eat them. And then, and then they travel to sea when they're a, lo a, little, a little older and then they, they restart the life cycle of a lean cod. Uh, Arvin, why did you choose to research this animal? I chose to re research this animal because my dad just loves fishing. What is the most interesting thing you learned about the animal? The most interesting thing about this animal be is that they um, they have ink in their body and their flesh turn, turns color. What was the best part in writing a research report? This the, um, the best thing about researching this animal is that I can learn a lot of stuff about it. And what was the hardest part in writing research? The hardest part was um, finding researchers because um because people might not know a lot about the link cards. Mm -hmm. Hello, my name is Arvin, and this week I wrote a fictional story about a boy going to outer space. One lovely day, um, Art there was this guy named Arvin, and he was only five years old. He loves to chase butterflies and and loves to roll in the grass and play with his family. One lovely day, he um, he chased a butterfly to a cliff. He saw something weird. When he went went and touched it, he went to the other side of the cliff. There was a laboratory that was a secret one. He saw a bunch of rockets and rocket fuel. So he was running around and stuff and he touched some rockets and stuff but the scientists and archaeologists there saw him so they chased him and um, finally stopped him and they say what what how old are you what is your name and Arvin said I'm Arvin and um, I'm only five years old in a very cute way and everybody said oh so cute so so they said what do you want to do and Arvin said I want to ride a rocket, so they ride. Um, they got ready, wore astronaut clothes, and went into space and took off. They blasted off all the way to space. When they finally got out of Earth's atmosphere, they traveled to Jupiter. Um, Arvin's favorite planet was Jupiter, so they went there. They didn't go on to land there; they just examined it. But the worst thing happened in the whole history. The rocket rocket ship ran out of gas, so they said, "Oh no, what are we gonna do?" So they waited hopelessly, hopelessly for someone to help. But an alien spaceship came. They came to help. They came and they said, "What do you need help with?" And they said, 
Um, we need gas for a spaceship. And then the aliens gave him gas, and then, and then the rocket was filled with gas. So they traveled back to Earth to go to his family and to the laboratory. So they landed, and then and the Arvin said, thank you for everything. And then he went back to his house. The end. Was it easy or difficult to write this piece? Of? It was very easy to write this story because um, I could use my imagination and, and write anything I wanted in it. Why did you choose to write about this particular topic? I, I chose to write about this particular writing because I want to, I want to go to space and explore the world. If there's one thing you can improve on, what would it be? I would improve on my writing because um, I want to add more details and make my story longer and easier to read. Hello, my name is Arvin, and this week I wrote a fictional story about an adventure. One, one, once upon a time, there was a very sad family living in a very small cottage. There were four children and a mom. Her dad was um, died because he was he was exploring um, a cave that was recently discovered. One day, um, their mom um, was working in the field, and um, and all of a sudden a tornado swallowed her up. The kids saw the kids saw it and then they cried, but then not the oldest. The oldest is Arvin. He is 20 years old, and the second oldest is Hami, who is 16 years old, and then Aiden, who is 12 years old, and then Johan, that is 10 years old. They were living very sadly now because their mother died. And then and when they stepped in a pressure plate, four diamonds and shiny swords dropped. So they, Arvin gave them to all of them. And then all of a sudden, a big giant eyeball with tentacles appeared. They fought and fought until the tentacles were gone and just blood splattered everywhere. The giant eyeball was very, very weird and it was floating. So Arvin killed it. And then all of a sudden, their dad appeared. But it wasn't their real dad. The younger, the younger kids, Hanbi, Hanbi, Aiden, and Johan, went, started walking toward it. But then Arvin saw a dark spot and then killed it. And then Hanbi, Aiden, and Johan cried. But then Arvin said, it wasn't the real dad. It was just another monster. He was tempting you to come because he wanted to kill you. And then he prayed to God that he wanted to shoot it down. So after he said amen, he shot it with his eyes closed. And then it hit the monster. And then he died and fell. And then these weird potions came out. It was a floating potion, a potion of healing the potion of um, giving life. So Arvin collected it and put it in his own pouch. And when they started walking, there was no more stairway. So they both, they all drank of some of a floating potion and they flew all the way to the next room. And that was the final room. There was a big giant white gate in the front. But then there was a sign that said, you have to sacrifice the youngest one. So, so Arvin gave Johan the power, the power, and then he drank it. And then all of a sudden he came back to life. And then they, they were in heaven. And then there, there were their mom and dad waiting for them. So they ran to them and then they, and they lived happily ever after with God and Jesus. The end. Arvin, what did you learn from writing the fictional adventure? Um, I learned from writing the fictional adventure that if you put more effort into anything in your lifetime, you will succeed. What do you think you can improve on? I thought I can improve on interestingness because um, I want the reader to understand more better and then tell more people about it. What did you enjoy about writing this piece? I enjoyed about writing this piece that I like to write adventure stories and some violence. Thank you, Arvin. Yay!